from the colorful displays of spring to the vibrant colors of autumn the beauty and variety of plants is amazing but what is more amazing is how important plants are to all life on earth thinking about plants raises a question how does a seed become a plant when the seed lands on the ground it takes water through its case and starts to swell after a while it sprouts a root called radical which heads downwards and starts to absorb water just like a sponge then the young stem appears called plumule which grows up through the soil and then forms its first leaves once above the ground the leaves start making their own food through photosynthesis chlorophyll is the chemical found in green leaves of the plant stored in tiny packages called chloroplasts it absorbs energy from the sun to drive the process called photosynthesis which means building with light hmm have you ever thought how do plants distribute their seeds plants have to spread their seeds to ensure more plants will grow from them and they do that in very clever ways some of the seeds develop wings and parachute that are picked up and carried away by the wind Some of them are carried away by animals either sticking in their fur or by tempting them to eat the fruits and you know what happens what makes grass different every plant grows from the top this means if we cut the top off the growth will stop but grasses are different the growing part is at the base which allows the grass to survive grazing by animals such as sheep and the cow okay Now you know how grass is different. Actually, every plant is different, but they've all evolved from one ancestor. Plants have been around a lot longer than animals. For millions of years, the only living thing on the planet were vast colonies of cyanobacteria, which are still surviving today. Like animals, plants have also moved from the sea onto land. Many of the primitive forms are still existing today. Plants like ferns and cycads are alive today. and are just little different from their prehistoric forms some fossil records show ferns existed as long as 360 million years ago predating all known land animals since the plants have been living for so long do they ever get ill plants are living organisms this means they're susceptible to get attacked by viruses and bacteria and other harmful agents just like us